It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. Normally, we wouldn't do a call where we're just helping a listener dump their significant other. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah, no. yeah that's not something that we generally want to be a part of. Right. Oh. But what if the listener had a really good reason? Or if the story's kind of juicy and we want to exploit it. Oh, I mean, you caught really, my attention. Willing to listen. Those are the only reasons I could think why we'd be up for something like that. Uh-huh. And I don't know if the guy on the phone actually has a good reason, but I do know that his story is a little bit juicy. So you're saying we have no no morals if the story is interesting enough. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but Joe has emailed us because he wants our help. Welcome to the show, Joe. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Okay. Welcome. Who is your current girlfriend? So I've been seeing this girl, Shauna, for about four months, and it's been, you know, it's been a lot of fun. She's gorgeous, really. Yeah, She's- get rid of her. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been going well. It's been going well. We've been hanging out. You know, we've taken a little short trip. Cute. But I kind of feel like right now she's just getting too attached. Mm. And the problem is she is considerably younger than I am. She's in her early 20s. How old are you? I'm definitely not in my 20s. I'm not in my 20s. Yeah, I thought we were talking to Wilford Brimley when we first yeah. picked up the phone. No. Nobody will get that reference. No. I'm not Wilford Brimley old, but I am. I could be her dad. I don't know. Okay. 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 I don't know. I have no idea who Wilford Brimley yeah, is. He's the guy so, who's like diabetes. If you're old enough to know that <laughs> reference, then I think that says a lot. Yeah, yeah. my parents, that's for my parents' time. Uh, wait, you're old wow. enough to be her dad? I mean, like, biologically, yes. Okay. Like okay. Your 40s or 50s, so you guys are maybe. into that thing. So yeah. what makes you feel like she's becoming too attached where you'd want to end this? Well, the other night she came over and we were watching TV. We were, you know, just hanging out. And she said the L word. Oh. And oh, no. I panic. And when she's saying that, I'm just like, um, oh, rad. 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 Okay. Oh, geez. Now, wait. Why don't you want to be in a relationship with her? If she's fun, she's attractive, she's okay with the age difference, what's the problem? Well, I'm not looking to settle down. I'm having a lot of fun. I just want to hang out with fun people. And she says she's trying to understand. But, you know, I'm feeling a little guilty because I don't want her to put all her eggs in this basket right now. You know, I mean, I... I'm not going to change. I think she thinks that I'm going to change. Yeah. Okay. So you you have no plans of getting married ever? Never. Okay. Never. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I mean, that's that's fine to be honest with. But, I mean, you're old and wise. Why can't you just dump her on your own? (laughs) So I've kind of tried to let her down in roundabout ways, but I just don't think she's getting the hint. She just doesn't want to hear it. How have you tried in the past? Well, I've just said, hey, you know, we're having a lot of fun, but don't you think sometimes you should be hanging around with a guy your own age or closer to your age? (laughs) But you're shaming her for dating an old dude, and you're the old dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least she's not using you for money. She says she loves you. Hey, we never said that either, though. No, I don't think she's using me for money, but she's going to spend all her youth on a guy who's a lot older, who doesn't want to settle down, who yeah. doesn't want to have kids. Right. Okay. I think that's good. I mean, I wish that more people would be more honest about like what their expectations are right from the beginning. Yeah. Don't waste your pretty girl. <laughs> so now, Joe, you're emailing us because you want to call Shauna and break up with her? Yeah, basically. I need your guys' help. Oh. Oh. All right, old man River. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know exactly the right way to do this that won't crush her, and I want it to be a final thing, too. Okay. Yeah, not like a wavering. Yeah, Yeah, right. Take a break. It's Uh like it's over. And those young girls, they're sneaky about getting back into a relationship with guys that don't necessarily want one. We will find a way if we want to. Okay, so... All right, we're going to think of some advice for you. First, we're going to play a song. We'll come back, and we'll let you deliver the news yes. to your girlfriend, Shauna, that this relationship is over. It's not rad. It, mm-hmm. Yeah. Unrad. Correct. It's not rad at all. All right. <laughs> well, hold on. We'll do it right after this. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. Man, I feel so bad for the guy on the phone with us. Joe is obviously having a really hard life right now. Oh, boy. A smoking hot 20-something. Mm-hmm. Half his age is completely <laughs> infatuated with him. Oh. 
and Love he even. can't oh, figure out how to break up with her. It's rough, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine a tougher situation to go through it's in life? It's, it's hard out there for men. So many yeah. older guys out there yeah. are saying, oh, glad I'm not Joe right yeah. now. <laughs> I think this is like Leonardo DiCaprio feels all the time. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. So we feel for you, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, my God, Joe. Oh, come on. He's not the reason that Joe reached out to us today is because he wants to respectfully mm-hmm. let his girlfriend Shauna down and tell her it's best probably that she moves on and doesn't waste all her youth waiting on him because mm-hmm. he has zero interest in ever getting serious and settling down. Right. Not just with her, but with any woman. Yeah, he's, he's just out to have a good time in yeah. life. And I know someone who's dealt with a lot of young hot girls and had to let a lot of them down. Mm-hmm. He might have some advice for you, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say to Joe? Here's the thing, bro, and I have experienced this, and all of my friends know this as well. Mm-hmm. Young hot girls cannot be told no. Mm-hmm. It like <laughs> it makes them want you more. It's just a thing. It's impossible. So you're gonna have to like trick her, like using reverse psychology or something. You're telling him to become super needy in the relationship, <laughs> and then something. maybe she'll be turned off. Maybe she uh, breaks yeah. Up with him. yeah. <laughs> All right, there's an option for you, Joe. Okay. Okay. Brooke, do you have something else? Well, as a person who has been dumped many times in her life, uh, Mm -hmm. and am still a young, hot girl, thank you very much. Absolutely, absolutely. I would like to say the easiest (laughs) way to move on from a relationship is anger. Whoa, I did not see that come. It's the easiest way I've gotten over past loves, right? Just being mad. But you're also angry when you're in love. No, that's not true. So this is what I think. I'm not a proponent for lying, but I think if you want her to be able to cut ties and Mm. think of you as a total jerk, right? Yeah, I'm here to hate you. Yes. You need to tell her that you have feelings for someone else. Oh. Okay. Fake an affair. No, not an affair. You don't want her to think that you cheated, <laughs> you cheated. because that's too much. Like that means feelings. you're gonna get your tires slashed or something. <laughs> yeah. Just that. Hey, listen, I'm interested in somebody else. We can't do this anymore. How do you feel about that, Joe? Yeah, I mean, I'll try anything at this point. I just got to figure out a way to get it done. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's going to hate you yeah. by the end of it. I just want to let yeah. you know that. Well, you got to be okay it with it. It still might slash her tires. Well, okay. but, you know, I, I mean, think she should just go sleep with someone younger. But, I've, I've given yeah. this advice to people in the past, and it, it wasn't very realistic, but Joe is actually of age where he could fake his death, <laughs> and it would be believable. <laughs> What is he going to call him? Oh, that's a good point. (laughs) Shoot. I didn't think about that. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can pull that one off. Okay, (laughs) fair enough. Let's just give your girlfriend, Shauna, a call. And I'm going to. Future. That's right. Soon to be ex. (laughs) And I'll dial the number, let you make your awkward Tuesday phone call. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hello? Oh, hey, babe. How are you? Oh, hey. I'm good. Where are you calling from? Um, yeah, I'm calling from my place. Okay, I just didn't recognize your number. What's up? Um, I, I just called to see how your day's going. What are you up to? Aw, uh, I'm doing well. It's just boring here, but I get off work in a few hours, so maybe I can come see you? Um, well, you're at work right now. Are you somewhere Mm -hmm. where other people aren't? I mean, are you kind of like alone right now? Yeah. (laughs) Why, you want to do something? You want to get naughty? Uh, No, no. I (laughs) want to make sure a bunch of people aren't around because, um, I need to talk to you about something. Oh, um, yeah, I'm by myself. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. I just, I just wanted to say first, I want to let you know that you're totally amazing. I mean, you're, you know, you're beautiful, <laughs> you're fun. Mm-hmm. You know. Duh, I knew that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of fun together, but lately I'm just feeling that something's kind of off. Off with us? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, like, you're a lot younger than. I am. I mean, and I'm a lot older than you are. Honey, don't worry. I don't care. I don't care if you have to take medications or something, you know, before you see me. Like, you could just go into the bathroom. Like, don't... No, 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 no. I'm not talking about taking medication. Okay, then what? Because, look... It's the age difference. The age difference. That's the problem. Yeah. 
It's a problem. And I don't want you to waste your time on somebody who's never going to get serious about a relationship, never going to get married. And I, and Look, I mean, never you say, Hey, you say that now. You don't know. No, 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 no. no I, I'm serious. I'm serious. Never, never. Okay, but but look, George Clooney changed. Like he said, never. Like I'm never gonna have kids or get married. And now look at him, and he's doing it, and he loves it, and he's a billionaire. Okay, okay, that's George Clooney. And how do you even know who George Clooney is? Because it's my mom's favorite actor. <laughs> okay, this isn't going well. I just need to tell you the truth. What? I have feelings for someone else. What? No, you don't. I do. I have feelings. And it's it's not. No, with... no. How would you even have time for that? You're lying to me. No, it's. Look, I think I'm falling for her. <laughs> if you're not lying to me right now, what's her name? Tell me right now. Um, Esther. <laughs> Esther? She's a little older than I am. What? How much older is she? Um, she's 65. You're telling me that you're ditching me for a senior citizen? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, what? okay, okay, okay. What is uh, going on? I'm lying. Okay. <laughs> I'm lying. What is going hold on? on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Esther? Why are you doing this? Hey, Shauna. Sorry. What is going on? Oh, Shauna. Shauna. You're on a morning radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. What? Yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> we do a segment on our show called An Awkward Tuesday Phone Call, and that's what this is. If you couldn't tell by the awkwardness of what just happened. <laughs> oh, 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 very awkward. You're on a phone call for my boyfriend to tell me he's in love with a senior citizen? He needed it. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. That's accurate. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's I don't not know. Esther is a lovely woman. Uh, no, she... <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. Joe... I don't understand. Okay, okay, you need to listen to these guys on the radio, okay? They're <laughs> helping me. Yeah, well, we're trying. Uh, <laughs> but here's the thing, Shauna. Your boyfriend, Joe, needed our help because he had a difficult message to deliver to you. What? And he wasn't sure the right way to do it. So we were trying to help him get the message through that he feels like maybe you might be wasting your youth on him. Not a maybe. Oh. I, he feels like you definitely are. He, okay. he doesn't ever want to get married. Uh, but he doesn't know that. He's just saying that. No, he knows. That's the thing. Like, you know by the time you're Joe's age what you want and what you don't want in life. Yeah, but we just started, and he loves hanging out with me, and we have a lot of fun. He might change his mind in, like, a month. He doesn't know yet. He Girl. thinks he knows. No, yeah. no see, <laughs> Joe, Joe, you got to talk to her, man. Look, when you said I love you, that really scared me. And it's like you're getting deeper and deeper into this. And I don't want to hurt you. I mean, I don't, I don't want to break your heart. Aw, you're so sweet. No, you're no. not going to break my heart. See, no. it's not working. I told you guys. Yeah. Shauna, here's the, here's the deal. Like, he's being really respectful of you. He's being incredibly honest. And this will be the best breakup that you'll ever have, probably. I mean, it's very clear what his needs and wants are. Okay, so... He basically called me to break up with me over the radio. Joe? Um. Uh, yeah, because I needed their help because this is really bugging me when we hang out. I, you know, I feel guilty. He's so blunt. Yeah. The thought of breaking your heart down the road really kills me. I, I don't want to hurt you. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. Just so you know, in case you were like trying to embarrass me, that nobody listens to the radio anymore. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if it was a podcast. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, you can listen. We do have a podcast too. Hey, so exactly. you can... listen. It's okay. App. It's okay if you're angry. Channel that. Yeah. Take it out on Joe. Joe, do you have anything more to f say for yourself? <laughs> um, I don't know, but it's done. I'm oh. sorry. You're a okay. great girl, but I'm sorry. We're done. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. I'll call you tomorrow from hot yoga, oh, and then we'll no. see what you have to say then. See, I told you guys. Well, Shauna, find someone else. There's, I mean, you sound <laughs> like you're awesome. You sound beautiful, fun, awesome. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your time going off for somebody who doesn't want you. Yeah, find a new guy. Jo I heard George Clooney's going to end his relationship <laughs> soon. Joe, so, I'm not listening to them anymore. I'll call you from hot yoga, okay? okay. Oh, boy, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own, Joe. Sorry, buddy. You're stuck with a hot young girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh.